All this controversy surrounding our mayor has made the job for our Pulitzer Award-winning editorial cartoonist Steve Breen very interesting, and he's here to share the best Filner cartoons. How are you? Good, thanks. Very busy catching up on yeah. all the scandal, I suppose, right? I know. There's a new development every day. So tell me, how do you get your inspiration? I mean, we obviously get so many details every day regarding Mayor Bob Filner. What do right. you how do you choose? Well, um... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's it's a it's funny because I'm bombarded uh, with uh, ideas from readers uh, every day. I come <laughs> really? in, and my my inbox has like six new ideas from readers who are so inspired by this topic too. Um, so uh, do they ever send you some uh, of their drawings? Uh, yeah, I've gotten a couple <laughs> drawings too. You know, but I ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time I like to use my own. I mean, every okay, once in a while there's this golden right. idea that someone sends in and I can't pass it up, but. For the most part, I just like to use my own ideas. That's you know what they pay me for here. So, so let's go ahead and do a run through of some of the ones that you've done recently. Yeah. This well, one you mentioned a, was an old one, right? That's kind of a caricature I did for a uh, feature story, or a, but it, it was not an editorial cartoon. It was just a standalone illustration. But Bob Filner's face, first of all, uh, you know, aside <laughs> from the personality, aside from the behavior, Bob Filner has a great, great face for caricature. And I want to talk about one of my personal favorite ones, and it's the one that you did during Comic-Con. Oh, Can we right. go ahead and pull that up? Because if you haven't seen it, okay, that one is well, amazing. But well, that, yeah, this one, <laughs> this was, was another uh, comic-related uh, cartoon, and uh, this was uh, done about a year ago. Not, not, not quite a year ago. This is earlier this yeah, year. Yeah, I'm... It was, I mean, film, this was before this, the, the sex harassment stuff. This was just Filner <laughs> holding the city hostage with his, his crazy personality. And that face is just, he looks like the Joker. I'm talking about the one where I think he's dressed up as a superhero. Yeah, he, <laughs> so, so the, that one ran uh, during Comic-Con mm -hmm. on Sunday. And uh, the, 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 Filner was dressed up uh, as this uh, weird looking villain. And he was walking towards Wonder Woman. And someone in the background was saying, <laughs> look out, Wonder Woman. It's the Groper. And he was kind of approaching you know, yeah, that's this voluptuous one, Wonder Woman. So t let's go ahead and show a couple other ones so we can get an idea about, okay. you know, you know so did this one take a long time? Was this a fairly recent one? This one, <laughs> this one um, ran a little bit before the sex harassment story broke. Um, this is his feud with uh, Jan Goldsmith, the, the city, city attorney, attorney right? uh, the hands-on mayor. You know, some of these ideas just kind of come to you in a flash, right? And this was such an idea. It just came really quickly and, and the drawing wasn't too hard. Someone, should I, someone said I should have made Jan Goldsmith's toupee flying off oh. uh, for added <laughs> uh, effect. Uh, this one's really good, though. I didn't do that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very Let's much. go to the next one. I think it's a reporter, I believe. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a reporter saying, Mr. Mayor, can you <laughs> comment on the allegations of sexual harassment? Sure, over a glass of Merlot in my office, pussycat. Oh, my gosh. How long did this one take? This one's, it uh, looks very intricate. You know, well, yeah, I mean, not too long. This is probably a medium time cartoon, maybe uh, an hour and a half to draw and 45 minutes to color in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. not, not too bad, you know. And uh, what are you working on? Do you have any idea of what you're doing today for tomorrow? For tomorrow? I'm yeah. working on a film or a cartoon. <laughs> Give us yeah. some insight of what we can expect well, in tomorrow's paper. Well, I, wanna, I wanted to do something commenting on um, his diminished stature and how even if he weathers this storm, uh, he's going to be this hobbled leader. You know, how does someone like this uh, uh, govern? How does he lead? You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> with, with people laughing at him behind his back and to his face. And do you ever, what are some of the comments that you get from the actual cartoons that you do? What is people, uh, pe I mean, people obviously send you people, ideas, but yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Uh, people love them, <laughs> basically. <laughs> people love them, because it's, a sex scandal is a story that everyone understands, you know? Plus, mm -hmm. it, when you got a guy who's not a very well-liked guy uh, at the center of it, you know, um, it's it's easy for people to 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 not like him. He's he's an easy target. What about this one, the Bob and the well, Filnets? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting back to what I'm saying, um, Bob and the Filnets, and those are some of his uh, city hall supporters uh, backing him. Uh, I don't know if they still stand by him. This this cartoon ran a few days before the sex scandal broke, but there he is doing his best George Thorogood. Another um, good one that you the bone just day. recently did, I posted it on my Facebook page, is the one where he's in the office and they're holding up the... the oh, the, the Rorschach test. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that one, yeah. That one was yeah. really good. Yeah, what do you see here? And he's saying, uh, I see a 
bewitching <laughs> pair of city employees frolicking in the moonlight. And that yeah. one came out last week, right? Yeah, that was over the weekend. That one that, was one of my ran. favorite yeah, ones. Yeah, that was Filner Therapy Day One. And we'll do more on Filner in his two weeks of therapy. That will be fun to play with. It this really is the gift that keeps on giving, this story, to, to an editorial cartoonist. There, here's another one. Is uh, it difficult to draw Bob Filner? Not at all. <laughs> you, you have a down the, now. He <laughs> is the easiest politician and the most fun uh, he's, he, has, he has the best face of anyone I've worked with in my, you know, 20 years of, uh, of editorial cartooning. Who is the uh, most difficult politician to draw in San Diego? Well, or in San I Diego, guess in general, I suppose. I guess in general it would be anyone who's attractive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Well, because um, because we're drawn to the grotesque as uh -huh. caricaturists. Right, so you enhance. Yeah, yeah so, so we, we like to play with big noses and big lips and weird eyes and bald heads and mustaches and moles, glasses, pot bellies, these kind of things. Awesome, well yeah. hopefully one day you can draw my caricature. Oh, you're, right. too, you're too pretty, you're too, <laughs> oh, too difficult. Thanks. All right, thank you so much Steve Breen for joining us here on Primetime.